they are playthings which have become exhibits in a murder trial. Examined by forensic science officers and seen today by the jury, these are the bikes that April Jones and her young friend had been riding. The girls swapped bikes that evening. April was riding this one just before her alleged abduction. The courts heard that five-year-old April was playing in the street close to her home when she went missing. The jury were also taken to see Mark Bridges' Land Rover today, it too bearing the signs of forensic analysis, including fingerprint dusting on the windows. Mark Bridger claims he ran over April, reversing his car onto her, trapping her under the wheels. The jury were told that when police seized the vehicle, they found cable ties, silver masking tape and baby wipes inside. Mark Bridger denies abduction and murder, claiming April's death was an accident and that he can't remember what he did with her body. You can see the forensic examination markers still on the vehicle. A forensic expert called by the prosecution has told the jury that there's no physical evidence either on the car or on the bike to suggest that any form of collision took place. He said there would have been something. A collision always leaves a trace. Today, the court heard what Mark Bridger said to police about April's death. He told them, I tried to take her pulse and held her hand. I put my hand on her chest. There was a sigh. It wasn't a gasp, and for that split second I thought I'd got her. He described driving round with April in his car and said, I stopped. I stalled. I leaned across, and I knew she'd gone. April's parents listened to that description and heard that in one interview Mark Bridger told police Paul and Coral are my friends. I've killed their daughter. I've done everything wrong. The trial continues tomorrow. Peter Lane, 5 News.